I greet you in the love and the light of the infinite creator. Event is coming soon. YouTube channel. Here's the latest intel. How your chakras are related to and affected by the foods you eat. By Kali Brown. There are seven chakras within the body, running from the base of the spine to the crown of the head. Chakra is the Sanskrit word for wheel or circle, because when they are balanced they spin and allow energy to flow. Chakras can become overactive, underactive, or even blocked, which can affect us both physically and emotionally. You control the state of your chakras, whether it's consciously done or not, therefore, you also have the power to balance your chakras yourself. This can be done through meditation, yoga, self-reflection, nutrition, energetic healing, crystals, or even just by being in a high vibration setting. The physical realm can affect our chakras and our chakras can affect our physical reality, they are meant to work in harmony together. As a result, food can directly affect how your chakras work and likewise, the cravings you get and the meals you prefer to eat can also reflect the health of your chakra system. You may have heard the phrases eat the rainbow and the darker the food the better it is for you, and there's certainly some truth to them because of how they relate to the chakras. What does science say about chakras? Below are the results from a case study done by Dr. Pradeep Abhidish Pand, a professor emeritus at the Department of Chemical Engineering at the University of Louisville, which had over 100 participants in attendance. Please keep in mind that clinical studies of more than 10,000 patient cases with various health challenges have also been well documented in Russia. The aligned chakras indicate that the subject was calm, relaxed and nourished from their participation in the case study, which involved information on meditation, breathing practices, love, kindness and intention. You can also observe a smoothing of the energy field before and after the case study workshop. Results like this were consistent with a number of volunteers. Each individual sector or portion of the fingertip is connected energetically with specific organs and organ systems such as the respiratory system. When the data of the 10 individual biograms are collated and interpolated, an image of the entire full body energy field is created. An example of the full body energy field from both a healthy and unhealthy, emotionally unbalanced individual are shown below. The gaps, reduced emissions and out-of-balance chakras for the unhealthy individual are quite obvious. Dr. Pradeep Abhidish Pand How Your Chakras Relate to Different Foods According to Ayurveda and Yogic knowledge, the chakras are tied to certain emotions and physical elements. Let's differentiate the chakras and understand how each of their roles relate to our bodies, emotions, and food. The Root Chakra, Sanskrit Maladhara Chakra, this chakra resides at the base of the spine and can be associated with security, family, and feeling grounded. Our primal instincts and our mar earthly thoughts and actions are tied to the root chakra. If you're feeling a disconnect from reality or very fatigued, that could mean your root chakra is imbalanced. Any type of stress related to survival, including financial, professional, and housing stressors could indicate that you need to realign your root chakra. The color associated with the root chakra is red, so any high vibrational foods with a naturally strong red pigment or grounding properties can help recharge your chakra. Foods such as tomatoes, strawberries, beets, red apples, pomegranates, raspberries, and even protein can heal your root chakra. The sacral chakra, Sanskrit, Svadasthana chakra. The sacral chakra resides just below the navel and is associated with creativity, sexuality, commitment, passion, and sensitivity. When the sacral chakra is balanced we feel sexual, creative, and comfortable being expressive. If you're feeling like you have low libido, a creative block, or are having reproductive issues or lower back problems, these could all be signs that your sacral chakra is imbalanced. The color associated with the sacral chakra is orange, so any high vibe foods that have a deep or bright orange color or are fairly heavy or dense are great for your sacral. This includes foods like mandarins, mangoes, carrots, squash, pumpkin, yams, seeds, nuts, and oils. The solar plexus chakra, Sanskrit, 
Manipura Chakra, the solar plexus is right above your navel and reflects your sense of self, personal power, and self-esteem. When your solar plexus is balanced, you will have strong self-worth and self-confidence and a greater understanding of who you are. If your solar plexus is imbalanced, you may be self-conscious and moody, experiencing self-judgment and fearing rejection and flaws in your physical appearance. You just feel a little less like yourself. The color associated with the solar plexus chakra is yellow. High vibe foods that have a yellow color and lighter protein options can help strengthen your solar plexus. Try eating some bananas, corn on the cob, fresh pineapple, yellow peppers, lentils, yellow squash, and grains like oats. The heart chakra, Sanskrit, Anahata chakra, the heart chakra is located in the center of the chest and is all about love, gratitude, joy, compassion, and connectivity. When your heart chakra is balanced, you feel love in all aspects of life and express it freely without being overbearing. If your heart chakra is underactive, you may be feeling angry, jealous, and bitter, and if it's overactive, you may be giving too much of yourself, feeling codependent, too accepting or tolerating, or experiencing difficulty implementing boundaries in your relationships. The color associated with the heart chakra is green. High vibrational foods that are deep green colors or are simply light or weight foods like vegetables are great for the heart chakra. This includes broccoli, kale, chard, and other leafy greens. The throat chakra, Sanskrit, Vishuddha chakra, the throat chakra is located in the center of the throat and is associated with your ability to speak your truth and express your feelings vocally. If you are experiencing a block, it may be difficult to communicate with others. If your throat chakra is imbalanced you may find it difficult to express yourself in all forms of communication, or likewise experience difficulty stopping communication or listening to others. A strong throat chakra means you can communicate with ease, you're honest and truthful, and you have great listening skills. The color related to the throat chakra is light blue, so any high vibe foods with a light blue color or super light foods are great for the throat. Blueberries figs, kelp, and pretty much all fruit in general work wonders on the throat chakra. The third eye chakra, Sanskrit, Ajna chakra, the third eye is located in the center of your forehead right above the brow line. Your third eye represents your intuition, your ability to see the truth, to see through illusions, and to think critically. A strong third eye indicates that you are wise, insightful, focused, intuitive, and a seeker of the truth. If you have an overactive third eye, you may feel lightheaded and frequently daydream. If you have an underactive third eye, you may have difficulty looking inwards, self-reflecting, and seeing things for what they truly are. The color related to the third eye is dark blue, so high vibe foods with a darker pigment like a deep blue or purple are great to recharge the third eye, as are extremely light foods. To strengthen your third eye, try consuming plums purple grapes, eggplant, purple kale, purple carrots, or simply tea and other light, all-natural, plant-based beverages. The Crown Chakra, Sanskrit, Sahasrara Chakra, the Crown Chakra resides at the center of the crown of your head and is related to inner guidance, connection to source, and enlightenment. If you have a balanced Crown Chakra, you will be able to fully live in the present moment, understand universal truths, and trust your inner self. If your crown chakra is imbalanced, you may lack self-awareness, have difficulty meditating, or hold fears and beliefs that don't align with the true essence of your being. The colors associated with the crown chakra are dark purple, violet, and white. It is said that once enlightenment is obtained, one can live off only the elements. As a result, fasting can be a wonderful way to recharge your crown chakra. Spending time in nature being in direct sunlight, and drinking water can all benefit the crown chakra. Extremely light foods such as mushrooms, garlic, ginger, onion, lychee, coconut, and other tropical fruits can also be used to strengthen the crown. Here's a wonderful diagram to assist you. How do food cravings and diets relate to the chakras? It's important to note that all of the foods mentioned here are 100% plant-based. Like anything else, all foods hold a vibration. For example, 
pesticides, animal products, and processed foods hold lower vibrations, whereas plants have higher vibrations. The chakras also increase in frequency as you ascend from the root to the crown. So, the foods associated with each chakra also increase in frequency as you go up the spine. I believe it's still important to eat plant-based foods higher in protein to balance the lower chakras, but it's extremely important to eat light, fruit and vegetable dense meals to balance your upper chakras as well. Ancient Hindu and Yogic texts explain that once the Kundalini energy is awakened, she wraps around the root chakra and continues up the spine, increasing awareness as every chakra is pierced until she reaches the crown chakra, at which point enlightenment, at least in this dimension, is reached. Avoiding certain foods can help us do this, particularly meat and dairy. Since fear is of a low vibration, I believe that every time you eat a bite out of an animal product that came from a creature who lived in fear, your vibration lowers. As a result, you may experience lower vibrational energies including fear, which can affect the root chakra and others. This is a common belief amongst yogis as it is thought that the energetic imprint left on the meat from an animal can be transferred when consumed. Once you've awakened this awareness, cravings can start to indicate which chakras you need to work on. For example, I frequently crave sweet potatoes, carrots, peanuts, and turmeric, all of which are related to the sacral chakra. I choose to give in to these cravings, giving my body, both physical and energetic, what I believe it wants but every time I do I try to reflect on why my body wants them. Your body will speak to you, all you have to do is listen. If you get cravings that clearly aid your body, such as specific fruits, vegetables, or nuts, I encourage you to listen to your body, eat those foods, and ask yourself, why am I craving these foods and do I perhaps need to work on the associated chakra? Self-reflection can be a beautiful tool to figure out how you're energetic emotional, and physical bodies are doing, and can provide you with the keys to healing yourself. Please like us and share with your social media. Please subscribe and click the bell to be notified of our new videos. Remember to check out our playlist for important intel you may have missed. Be sure to enter our subscriber appreciation $100 monthly giveaway. The link is in our description. And visit our sister channel. The event is coming soon for additional intel and information. Stay tuned. Victory of the Light. Event is coming soon. YouTube channel.